Hi guys, it's Alicia from Bugs at Stitch, and I figured I would do a video in the work in progress group because the videos I do in the Bugs Cross Stitch or at Stitch group are mainly um, showing the products I have in stand and or in stock and anything that I've received or sending out or anything like that. So I figured, you know, we all cross stitch and during those videos, it's not really a time to be showing off what I'm working on or what I have in my whip pile, which in preparation for this video, I gathered all my whips. Hi, Fawn. Um, and I'm going to run through some of them I just have um, kitted up. And so I won't necessarily show those ones. Hi, Debbie. Um, but the ones that I do have to show, I did up my list and I have um, 20. <laughs> I think I need to lower the number a little bit. A bunch of them aren't started yet. So one, two, three, four, um, five, six, six. Currently do not actually have any stitches. Hi, Angela. Um, in them yet, so I mean they're just kind of I have them in my stash ready to go <laughs> um, so I also Anyone that's in the group because I'm doing this live noticed maybe noticed that it says whips <laughs> I have a lot of stash, but we aren't talking about stash <laughs> um it says whips and it says floss tube number one. So I figured let's go out on a limb here. I'll do videos regarding the whips I have going on or any of that. And maybe once in a while it'll just be a stitch long where I'm stitching with you guys. And um, those that are in my group can join live, obviously. And then those that are not in my group can view the video at a later time under a floss tube channel. And then hopefully it'll get more of us together and we can enjoy stitching together when I have time to do all that. Of course, being that I have both groups, yes, that's Twitchy Kitty. <laughs> we have two kitties and a dog. And then I have two kids and a husband and myself. It's a very full three-bedroom trailer. <laughs> um, hi, Kim. So we, uh, I'm filming the video live in the whip group. And then, of course, you guys can at any time check out my other videos that will be in the business group, the business page group that shows what I have in stock. This is more so that you guys can stitch with me and work on projects with me and show off projects. And then I'm going to put the video after on FlossTube so that people that have never met me can get to know me and know me personally rather than just, oh, she has a business. That's a lot of animals too, Angela. Thank you. Angela says she loves the name of Twitchy, and she has six kids, a hubby, turtle, cat, and a bunny. Place is too small for us also. <laughs> All right, um, let's get started with the whips that I haven't actually put a stitch in yet. I may just have the fabric with the pattern. So I have Leslie Tear, which when I put this up on floss tube, I will put links in to um, get to like Leslie Tears blog, which you should be able to find any of the ones that are still available um, on there for any of the patterns. Hello, Christelle, for any of the patterns that you guys really like. Um, I was gonna say I should maybe grab the covers for those, any of the ones that I have covers for. I will grab these ones. See, I have some organization. It doesn't work very well, but I have some. Okay, so I have Leslie Tears Floral Sampler 2018. I was so excited to start this in um, January. 
and I never got a stitch in. <laughs> so I just had, because at that time, I was still finding sources myself, being that we're Canadians, to get fabric from, and good fabric. But I didn't have sources at that time. So um, I was just starting to find out about Cindy, and of course, which led to me opening my business. Um, so I was just using stash that I had from my mom. And um, this one is actually a piece that was from the last cross stitch I was starting to work on when I quit cross stitching for 12 years. Um, but I don't have that pattern anymore and the sentimental of it is gone so I figured I'll just use it. So it's obviously Zweigart, you can tell by the orange on the edge, and it's a blue. It's over 12 years old so I'm guessing it may still be in stock, it's probably just a light blue. Um, and I was going to stitch, when I have time, uh, I can't show patterns, that's the only thing. So I was going to stitch Leslie Tears Floral Sampler Cell 2018. Um, I don't see a cover photo, which is fine. Um, this is just the floss list. And um, I will put a link when I do up the floss tube stuff on YouTube. I will put up a link with um, her blog that you can go ahead and find the pattern. It's beautiful. I am part of their Facebook group. I'll put that up as well. Um, they have a separate face group, Facebook group for that cell. And I mean, they look fabulous. I'm, I eventually will find time to stitch them. I just have more pressing or interesting projects right now. <laughs> Um, so that's Leslie Tears Floral Sampler, and then I also, I don't know if it's available anymore, but um, they were taking the files down, so I got it in January, so I mean if you do some searching you might still be able to get it, or it might be a paid pattern now instead of free, and that is Leslie Tears Christmas Gift Sal. So it has cute little teddy bears, and I mean, not just teddy bears, you have your little butterfly, birdhouse, all that. And so it's a 12 pattern, and then it comes with the border. And so um, if you like that one, go check out her blog. I don't remember seeing a Facebook group for this one, but I haven't looked for it either, so it could be there. Yes, we all need more time to stitch, Christelle. <laughs> Um, so, of course, I will put a link, and you guys can go check out and see if you can find them, the patterns for that still. And then the next one from her that I haven't put a stitch in yet is the Teddy Bear Sal. Now, this was for 2017, and I just have a cover photo with up to June 2017. So I think this was just her advertisement for the sale to come up for 2017. She has an advertisement for a sale that will be coming out for 2019. And it is very cute. It is owls. It, of course, is up on the blog website. And I think, like these ones, it will be free. But don't quote me. But I'm pretty sure it's free. And so you go on every month into the Facebook group, they do a link, you go in, you print your pattern, and you do that stitch. So this was 2017's. And then the one that I had started stitching is um, 2018's. And it is Sunbonnet Sue. And it's very cute. I only got three months stitched in it. Um... I have it right here. So, oh, I lied. I only have two. Ciara, no. No, go to your bedroom. Thank you. Hi, Auntie. Um, so this one, I only got month one and two stitched. A very cute pattern. And again, I was limited on the fabric I had on hand when I was kitting this up. 
Um, this is a needle minder I got from Cindy. I'm sure they have other ones left. Um, and so, yeah, this was the beginning of me really starting to cross stitch again after a 12 year hiatus from the craft. And honestly, I don't know why I stopped. Oh, <laughs> I was just looking going, what's wrong with that? So that was my lovely first try at um, French knots there. <laughs> I know everyone's like, I'm just going to beat it instead. I I see why, but I just, I had to try it. I'd probably carry on. So that is my Leslie tier. Let me just double check. Yeah, that was Sunbonnet Sue. Um, and right now the Facebook group has Sunbonnet Sue's up. And you just go to the files, you click on it, you download it and print it. And there you have it. Um, and it was free. So if you're low on funds and just want to be able to stitch with other people, it is a lot of fun. Especially to be able to check your progress on those um, groups. So um, the next one is, and I've seen it on Stitching Mummies video. Okay, so... The reason why I'm doing a floss tube video, I'll get back to that, is um, I was watching Kim from or Kim in Canada, and um, she has her floss tube videos, and she was talking about Stitching Mummy. So I went and checked out Stitching Mummy and um, Mr. Cat. And um, I enjoyed watching Kim and she had said that she had some patterns up on one of the stash on load sites and I was like oh where are they so I went and bought four so um, it's just a great way to be a part of a community now Stitch and Mummy is not Canadian that's fine I'm fine with not everything we do is Canadian um, I just really enjoy stitching community and being able to get to know people. But I was watching Stitching Mommy's video, and on her desk behind her, she has, I'm sure many of you have heard of it, um, Snowflower Diaries, Joyful World. I think she had January up because I'm pretty sure it was the thoughts, but she must have had about October up. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and watch that one again. But, um, yeah, I've been... She didn't have November, I know that. It wasn't a peacock. I'm pretty sure it was fox. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a fox. So that would have been January. Um, and, I mean, i seen that pat that um, pattern, and I was like, oh, that is so gorgeous. So I'll just show you. This is January's. It's... Hard to see. I found it online, and then they do have a group on Facebook. I will put the link in the floss tube video um, comments. And um, I mean, it's gorgeous. You stitch all of them together, or you stitch them separate and change them out. Um, yeah. So Snowflower Diaries. And um, they've been out for a couple of years. And then I remember everybody was asking, hey, is she, is she doing a new one? But I haven't seen anything come up. But I haven't checked the group in a month or so. So, I mean, maybe the creator has responded by now. And then this one, I didn't write it down and I should have. But I haven't actually personally put any stitches in it. I won this in one of the whip groups. And so it's... Angels, Guardian of the Skies, Wilmer Craft Group, and it's a perforated paper kit. So it has a little bit more that needs to be done on it. I will eventually when I'm looking for a project to take to and from work, because I try and um, stitch while I'm at work on my breaks, um, I will probably put that in my bag because it's a nice small project. Um... So that's that one. Now, this one, I did a couple of them, but I haven't worked on it much in the last while. And that is Connie G. Barwick. Um, she did a border, or she did a sal, 2018 sal. And I did the border, and I did 
I think one and maybe two. There's 25 all together, and it's like a black work pattern. So I just, I didn't have the right size of paper, so I figured I'd just make it like that. So I did one and two, and I'm sure there's someone down here. I haven't done those. <laughs> Um, this was just, you know, waiting for patterns and stuff I wanted to do. I just wanted something to fill my time and let me practice stitching and stuff. Um, so, I mean, eventually I'll probably work on it some more when I'm just looking for something small and quiet. Probably another Take to Work project and work on it there. Now, it seems my comments have stopped. So, if you're commenting, that's great. But... I'm not seeing them update. <laughs> so you guys know, I'm not ignoring you. So that's Connie G. And then another free one that I love. She is a great lady. I actually won, we did a um, New Year's Biscorn You. And I won the gift package that she put together. I mean, she sent, she sent me chocolates and um, teas and all that from New Zealand. I want to say New Zealand. I think I'm wrong. Where are you from, honey? Um, so her name, like her blog is Magical Quilts. And then her name on Facebook that we or in a group of is um, Weaver's Tapestry Band Sampler Sal. And um, I am done a bit of it. I think the first and second band. But um, I haven't stitched on it in a really long time. I did do all the border. I was very proud of myself for doing all the border, but I haven't stitched on it in quite a while. And then um, I was at the coast and I wanted to try silks. And the lady that created this also created a biscoin, like she did the New Year's biscoin you, but um, she did a biscoin you to go along with this um, main. Um, Weaver's Tapestry Band Sampler Cell. So I did start it. And I started it with some um, Karen Water Lily Silk. Um, so it was my first try with silk and learning to stitch one stitch at a time. <laughs> um, I can't say that's my favorite way to stitch. <laughs> I prefer to just go a row across and then back. But there's some more comments. Hi, Trish. I only ever won that, um, oh, that's not true. I won the um, whip, and I won the Weaver's Band Tapestry Sal, um, or the New Year's Sal thing. But, I mean, we had to put up our progress pics and show her that we were actually working on it and finishing it. Um, so, I mean, she is a lovely lady, and I'm trying to think of her name off the top of my head, and I can't. I should just go to the group real quick. Um, do, do, do. Goldra, I believe is her name. And, um, yeah, she's wonderful. Um, so Galdra is the creator of the patterns and the Facebook group that I'm a part of is Weaver's Tapestry Band Sampler Sal. That is the whole name of the group. And um, the Sal, like the stitch along for the year is free and it's once a week. I think it's on Tuesday she puts up the new pattern and it's, you know, three or four hundred stitches across. Um, if you're not doing the border at the same time. So it is a really nice um, pattern. And I mean, if it started, I believe, in January. So um, you're a bit behind, but hey, you're not much further behind than me. And a lot of people that aren't part of the group don't know about it. So, I mean, it's a really neat one to check out. 
so um, yeah, that's another great designer to check out. And then, I mean, I was on a run of cells. For some reason, I just wanted to do tons of cells. <laughs> So I found um, so-and-so long dog sampler sneak. Now, that one is a paid one. Sorry, I'm trying to think of where I have it because I have it set aside. Because it's normally my to and from, but I don't see it. So I will insert a picture I'm going to teach myself how to do that on the floss tube video and I will put it up here and um, then you guys will be able to see my very little progress on the long dog samplers sneak um, but I mean it's a lovely pattern as well and then of course I'm sure many of you have heard um, of linen and threads I'm sure of it um, so linen threads 2017 so this was another you know stash from my mom that you know obviously is not gonna fit the 2017 widthwise or lengthwise so I decided I was just gonna do some of the bands and not do the full width so I have here January and then I don't think I was going to do February. I think I was going to jump to March. But either way, I have one month done. And it's not as wide as the original pattern. So I have to shorten it and kind of play around with my um, stitching and stuff. And um, also, once I post this on Floss Tube, and that will have, you know, all the links and, and – um, I'll have the pictures added to the video and stuff. Um, once I do that, I will reshare it in the whip group here. So, I mean, you guys that are commenting now obviously get to watch it live as I'm filming, but um, those that get to watch it after can watch um, all of it then. So then my next one is... I think. Oh, it's not the last sow. <laughs> um, but it's the other linen and threads. So I haven't even shared a progress pic online because I didn't want to show it until I finished the month. But I mean, it's been months since I worked on it. I was actually at Louise's house the last time I worked on it at all. So that was, I believe, in March, <laughs> and it's November. So it is on the lovely parchment. So this is even weave, 28 even weave. And so I have the first page done, but I still have the middle page in that end of January to do. Everybody else is like, oh, I'm just about done November, or oh, I'm ready for December. And I'm like, maybe 2019. We'll get working on this. <laughs> so, yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, the pattern comes monotone, so all one color. I decided what colors I was going to use and where, and so I just colored on the pattern where I was going to put my colors and stitched it that way. Of course, I can edit it, change it out if I don't like it, any of that. So that's another whip. Um, the next one is this one so I've had this scroll frame for 15 years or so 12 years 12 years um, this was what my last project was sitting on and I took it off and if you guys can see this is the lovely Okanda fabric that I carry in the store and is also carried by Stitchery Express for those of you that are not located in Canada I cannot sell fabric to you but Stitchery Express the person that I buy it from sells it worldwide um, so I have a good start and this pattern is um, I believe it's called Loon and or the loons or something and it is I have it written down which is apparently a good thing um, the stitching studio Sue Coleman's loon 
photo, but I took the photo and flipped it. So, um, because this is in the reflection in the water in the actual pattern, I flipped it so it will look proper, being that I'm not going to stitch the whole thing. I'm just going to stitch the rest of the loon's body here. And then I bought the pattern for the butterfly one and I'm probably going to put the butterfly up here on the fabric and of course it has the Canadian anthem words in the back. I just figured it would be a good way to promote the fabric that I sell and just a nice stitch. I love Sue Coleman's work. It looks beautiful. Um, another promote the fabric stitch that I started and I haven't gotten very far in is um, Artisi's Silhouette 11. I will put a picture up of the pattern. Um, I will insert it and then I will show you guys this. So this is another fabric that I carry. It's called Blooms on Blue. This one is 32 count linen. So nice bold coloring. Um, and so I will stitch the rest of the lady's silhouette and it's just a silhouette of her hat and her face and head and then um, frame it or make it into a pillow or fully finish it one way or another. So that is what that one is. Um, then next I have this project in my lovely project bag. Um, Doreen of um, Canada, she lives in Ontario, is the one that makes my project bags and garden guards. Um, so she made this set for me to see and try. It comes with a grime guard, the project bag, which more than comfortably fits the grime guard, or the um, Q-snap with the grime guard, and then an accessory bag to go with it for the floss and stuff. Um, so you can't see very much of it because I have it all wrapped up. But it is um, Ursula Michaels. Let's love our family. And I need to finish it soon. It was supposed to be done for August for my grandparents' anniversary. Um, and obviously, I didn't finish it yet. <laughs> so I need to get to stitching on that one again soon. I had to do a bunch of um, removal because I was one stitch too far to the right, I believe. And uh, that kind of stalled my progress, and then I lost my ambition to hurry up and get it done. <laughs> so, I will get it done. So that's that one. And then another one I had to start because I wanted to try stitching one over one. And, I mean, what better to stitch one over one on than Nora Corbett's. So this grime guard I got from Cindy before I started my um, business and such. And if you're wondering what this is, it is Velcro. And I do that to just kind of hold the fabric. And it comes on a roll. You cut it to whatever length you want. And, yeah, I just do that to hold my fabric out of the way for me. And then I put my grime guard over top. But this pattern is the lovely Tiger Lily. And I stitched all the face, neck, part of the arm, I'm not done the arm, um, in one over one. And then I would every once in a while take a break and stitch normal stitching over two. But um, yeah, it's been a slow progress. And then I have another project that's been more near and dear to me. So I've kind of just set this one aside. This fabric is Ice Fractal by um, Citri Express, or by um, Fabric Flare. And I get it from Citri Express and sell it retail in my group. So if you guys are looking for that, I will put a link for the Facebook group. Um, come and visit. If you're outside of Canada, I can sell you patterns and needles and stuff, but um, as far as fabrics, I will be sending you to Cindy to purchase from her yourselves. Um, or worldwide. I can sell Canada-wide. Um, next, we have... This one I also started while I was waiting. This was my 
second try on even weave and it's another fabric flare even weave but the pattern is drawn thread the drawn thread and it is on mm, 28 even and it is called Merry Christmas and I have the M and one of the little birds mostly done um, very nice fabric to stitch on I love their even weave I go with the linen when I um, need the bold background but if it can be a subtle background even weave is my favorite cost wise Ada is my favorite <laughs> Um, so that is the drawn thread, and I believe it's called Merry Christmas or Good Tidings. I will check. It's called Good Tidings and the drawn thread. I can bring it in, of course, if you guys are looking for it. Go to the Facebook group, not the whip group, but the actual Rugs at Stitch group, and I will bring it in. Um, next one, because I'm not done. <laughs> The never ending whips. Um, I just remembered I have that one I didn't, the pattern I, or the sneak I don't have physically in front of me. And then I have another one, Keys to the Kingdom, that's for my stepdad, which I don't have that one in front of me either. So that brings me up to 22. <laughs> um, so this next one, these next two, I don't actually have stitches in yet, but I've got the. Um, the actual um, threads or specialty threads on the way to me. Of course, I have DMC. Um, so the first one is, I can't show you all of it, um, Bumblebee, and it's a Mirabilia. It's a free pattern. And I have, I'm going to put it on 32 count Berkshire Hive. So I love the um, Berkshire Hive fabric just has a nice honeycomb to it. We also have um, chicken wire fabric, which is a little bitter, a little bit bigger. Similar idea, except it actually looks like wire instead of honeycombs. So that is Bumblebee by Mirabilia. I, again, I'll put up the link. It's just the main Mirabilia site that I got the pattern from. And then I have this one. I want to stitch on it so bad but I have other projects that need to have my attention first so this is the fabric yeah so this is the fabric it's huge I know but um, I am going to stitch on it now, I have um, some people asking me about bringing these patterns in. They are mainly PDF, but um, they will let me order hard copies. But I have to do a minimum order of $150, so I haven't brought them into the store yet. But of course, if you guys are part of the group for the store and would like having Nerf designs in um, hard copy, Please get a hold of me, and if we can get enough of us together, I can do an order. But this one I bought before I was doing all that, so it's Little Red Riding Hood, no background. So I'm going to stitch her. She's going to be absolutely gorgeous on that fabric. So it's going to be great. That's just a me project. So, I mean, as much as I'd love to stitch that red and have it pop off of that forest, I have not started it yet. <laughs> but I have it ready to go. I have the fabric and the thread and the pattern. All right. I only have two more physically in front of me. The sneak one I don't have and the keys to the kingdom ones I don't have in front of me, but um, two more. So one is one of my favorite designers to um, reach out to and bring in. Thanks, Auntie. I think it will look cute. Um, is Tiny Modernist. So right now, a lot of people, if not everybody, a lot of people are talking about Santa's house. And so this was part one, 
of course, it's all the background, and you can see the other parts are all blurred out right now. Um, and then as they're released, I ship them out. So that's part two, room one. And then this is part three, room two. I've got a very, very, very small start right up here. <laughs> so I have it on the lovely tiny blue snowflake fabric opal 14 count. And so I just have it on a little small start there. Kind of hard to tell because it's white. There you go. Now you can see it. Um, and, of course, when I have, you know, lots of time, I will be working on that. And there is a couple other customers or fellow stitchers of mine doing Tiny Modernist. Um, I do have one more hard copy in stock ready for sale. It is $26. So if you are interested in it, um, go ahead and PM me or check out the group. If you're not part of the group, join. Come see what I have. And um, yeah, if I need to order more, she is easy to deal with. She gets back to me right away. And um, we go from there. Now the last one is very near and dear to me. I'm going to try, see if I can show you the back. Sort of. Show you what I'm talking about. Sort of. So, I'm going to show you the back because I don't want to show you the chart. I, I strongly agree with copyright laws. But um, you should be able to see. So, you see all that yellow in here. This was all stitched by my mom. And then you have all the purple. Sorry, I have it upside down. You have all the purple. Yeah, that way. The purple is stitched by me. So I'll show you the actual um, project is um, Dimensions, Magic, and Motion. So I'm doing this for my stepdad, Alan. And um, he found it. I found the chart and the floss in a box. Um, he found the actual project in a box and had it set aside. And he said, hey, you're doing cross stitch again. Could you stitch this for me? So I am working on it. So that's what my mom and I, sorry, it's um, not showing the clearest image. So my mom and I together have stitched and I have Let's see if I can position this right. The swirl down here, left to finish, and then all the back stitching and detail stitching. Um, so I'm hoping to get it done by the end of this month. So we shall see. I don't want to give it back to him um, for Christmas because I feel that would be a little um, unfair, but I'm hoping to give it back to him really soon hopefully this month and then um, he will frame it as he sees fit um, so yeah that's one that why everybody else is sitting on the background is so or on the back burner so I can work on this one so I take it to work with me and get a few stitches in or if I have you know the plenty of time that we have oh that's awesome auntie um, then I will uh, find some more time and get some stitching on it done and give it to my stepdad. Um, so that is all of the whips that I have in front of me. Um, what else? Other than that, um, I will add in pictures, um, as I said in the video, and um, edit it. Not too much. I like to be true to who I am, and if I made a mistake in what I was saying and corrected myself, then that shall be in the video. <laughs> I am who I am. 
Um, so I will edit video and put it up and label it floss tube number one and I will link it probably in both groups because I have a lot more members in my business group than I do in the whip group and um, then you guys can start um, getting to know me aside from the business and then of course if you see it on YouTube and are viewing it then come check out the business or PM me if you have any questions um, like I said I can sell fabric across Canada um, I can sell anything else worldwide so um, come join me get to know me all right anyone that was live with me thank you for joining me and have a great afternoon bye guys